Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell notification icon so you can be notified of the new tips, tricks, and configuration tutorials that I post. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. And if you haven't hit that little bell icon, go ahead and do that now. And tonight what we're going to talk about is on the Grandstream UCM series, how to send voicemail to your email. So let's hop over to our UCM and you're going to need a few things for this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is under the extensions, you're going to want to make sure that you have a valid email address under the user settings right here. So you can see I've got my Willie at HowX5 email there. Then um, what you want to do is where it says send voicemail to email you want to say yes. And you can see there that there are some other global settings under the voicemail setup. And we'll take a look at that here in just a second. So we'll go call features, voicemail, then we'll click the voicemail email settings. And you can see that we can do a global send voicemail to email. Now it is important to make sure you have a valid email address in there. And then you can also uh, keep the voicemail after emailing. And then you can take a look at the email template and you could probably get into some customization of that. We're not going to get into that here. Now, the other thing that you're going to need is going to be under system settings and under email settings. You're going to have to have set the system up to be able to send email. So what we're going to do is I'm using Gmail. And if you remember a few videos ago, we had a Synology video where we created a, a Gmail account specifically for uh, the Synology to be able to send email. So what we're going to do is I'm using that exact same account here. So what I've done is I know that I need these types of authentications, the TLS and the SASL authentication. I need those both for Gmail. My SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. This could be your custom SMTP server here. And then, of course, my username and password. And then how I want the display name for the PBX to work. And then also who the uh, sender's email address is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in and I'm going to leave a voicemail. And then we will see if I get the, the message. So let's see. So it is now ringing. And uh, Technology LLC. Okay, so now I'm calling my extension, so it should start ringing any second. My greeting is on. I'm going to leave a message. Hello, this is uh, Willie Howe calling for Willie Howe, and I found the Willie Howe contact form online. Had this number. I decided to give you a call. Let's see if you get this email. All right, so I left my message, and now I'm going to wait. You can see that the uh, voicemail, maybe you can't see it, but the voicemail light back there is now blinking green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my email, and now um, what I've got is I have a message, uh, an email, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says new voicemail from William Howe. So it has uh, my cell phone number there, um, which I am apparently going to need to redact from this video. And then it has the uh, wave file on there. So now you can see that voicemail to email is working. So it's really that easy to get it up and going. You just need those settings. And if you need any other help with your PBX or any other technology needs, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. 
If you uh, want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon and support the channel that way, and thank you to those folks, the link is down below. And if you'd like to buy any Grand Stream gear or any other gear you see here on the channel, my Amazon affiliate link is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things moving around here so we get this gear to do these videos on. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.